how are you doing? Morning Megan, very well thanks. Everything's all good? Very good. Fantastic. Now you're going to warm us up again today with a nice um, beef dish, which I can't pronounce, so I'm going to leave that to you. What's it called? It's called beef uh, dotty nabi. So dotty nabi. Dotty nabi. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get all souped up again, especially on these colder days. Yeah. Traditionally this dish is with oysters, but oh, we're just okay. going to be a bit naughty today and mix things up, which is what we like to do with beef. Good. Yeah. And so soup is really, I mean, we know that it's got some great health benefits. It keeps us nice and warm over winter, doesn't it? That it does, and, and um, you know, it's got its health benefits, and um, most importantly, it's really delicious. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It is very delicious indeed. Okay, so what are we going to do for this dish? So the, the base of this soup ramen dish is miso soup. Now, I've already got some on here. Um, I've just bought prepared miso paste, mm -hmm. which you can do at any good supermarket or Asian store, and just follow the directions and... Yeah, that's pretty easy. Water. Yeah, that's really easy. So what exactly is miso for our viewers that haven't had it? Miso is basically the paste of fermented soybeans. Right. It puts a few people off, but it's, it's really popular. I find mm. one thing at the restaurant is someone from a table will order a miso soup, mm. and then the whole table will order a few minutes later. So it's proving really popular, and give it a try. It's really, really tasty. And it is really good for you, isn't it? And it is very healthy, yeah. Great, very okay. Good. So along with that, we've got some nice veggies here. Today I'm going to put through some leek, some uh, red pepper, mushrooms and carrots, so we'll just get those together quickly now. So some good kind of winter vegetables. Yeah, and just, you know, with this leek, some nice earthy earthiness, mm. uh, which will go well with the beef, and beef goes really well with miso as well. It's a good thing about miso, isn't it? It just tends to, all kind of meats seem to go well with miso. And just some carrots, so with these veggies, just however you like, I'm just going to sort of thinly slice these. And I've got some nice Swiss brown mushrooms here, which again, just all nicely sliced. Mushroom, any kind of variety we can use? Uh, you could use white button, but again, with these brown Swiss brown mushrooms, I find you just get a little bit more earthiness, flavour. Mm. And soon there's a predominant amount of veggies in this dish, it'll, you'll get that nice flavour coming through from those. Fantastic. Last week we quick, I mean last time we quickly touched on World Noodle Day, Not which far is away happening now. in July, isn't it? On July the 27th. Yeah, so a month away. So this gives people a chance to head along to Wagamama and pretty much see how many noodles they can attempt to indulge in. That's right. We, um, we, we did well last year. We did it between all the restaurants through New Zealand and we sort of had a, a bit of a go at trying to attempt a, a record and uh, I believe Metropolis in Auckland was our, our most successful restaurant. They had mm -hmm. queues from about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, and we're going to do it all over again this year. So um, there is such a day, Noodle Day, believe it or not. <laughs> and it's, like you say, just a month away. So we're developing a new menu, which is out very shortly, that will um, we'll display and, and start up on that day. And oh, give great. Sort of an incentive to people to, to try a few new di dishes. Yeah, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? And there's so many kind of extensive dishes that you can try at Wagamama. And every time I go, I like to try something new. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I stick with my faves. Nice, so veggies all prepared there. Um, some beef, I've just got some sirloin that's been thinly sliced there. I'll just get a hot wok. And uh, another part of this dish is um, sesame. So I've got some sesame oil, and we're just going to finish with some sesame seeds. And again, the sesame will go really well with the beef and miso. So why do you use the sesame oil, Kurt? Is it just for the flavour? Just for the flavour. I'm not going to cook with the sesame oil because it's, it's not the best oil for cooking. Right. It'll sort of burn and uh, take on its colour quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to instead use a, a wee bit of a canola or vegetable oil here and we'll just get that pan till it's nice and hot. And the noodles I'm going to use for this dish are a udon noodle. Right. You could use an, any noodle of choice. Um, I prefer the, the udon in this dish. It's just a, a bit of a thicker noodle, a uh, bit meatier, go, will go well with, with the beef. Okay, fantastic. And they're just readily available in all supermarkets yes, now, aren't they? fresh or dried, and um, again, just follow the directions and cook those a bit like pasta till they're, Great. Till they're al dente. Easy. So we can see our pan there is starting to smoke, which is what we want to seal the beef. So we can colour and seal in all the, the flavour. flavour and juices here nice and quickly. I'm also just going to add a little bit of um, garlic and ginger. Fantastic. So we can get that in now. And I'll get the veggies into this dish so then after the break we can just pretty quickly put this dish together. Okay, sounds good. Oopsie.
So if you've got a waffle at home, it's, a, it's more of a stir-fry dish. Mm. Also the name Dotinabi, meaning one pot or, or one wok as well. And part of it's Japanese meaning. Which is brilliant because it essentially means less washing up. <laughs> yeah, and again, quick and easy. Yeah. So the bok choice, that's the beef, the ginger, the garlic and the veggies. We'll just stir fry that out. And then I'll just, uh, after the break, finish that with um, a little bit of the soy and sesame. Mm -hmm. And we can serve it up. Lovely, that sounds good. Once again, it's a beautiful and easy quick dish to make at home. So stay with us because we'll be back after the break with Kurt from Magamama and Gay from Lingerie on Barrington. So see you soon.